New Year, New Bike. Come join me for a quick overview of the Lyric Cycles Graffiti 2023 model. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. It's E-Rock Rods, and today we are going to go over the Lyric Cycles 2023 Graffiti E-Bike. For anyone that follows the channel, they know that I recently sold my Aerial Rider X-Class E-Bike, but I immediately had seller's remorse. I was looking at e-bikes that had long seats and passenger pegs so I could still take my son to school. Initially I was looking at the Zeus e-bikes and then I also was looking at some other e-bikes with similar styles. But then I came across the Lyric Cycles Graffiti. I've known about Lyric Cycles for a little while now, but I've been mainly following their higher end models, the Voodoo and the Graffiti X. But I came across this bike and I saw that there was a killer sale of $750 off this specific model, the Eclipse model. I haven't really seen any video reviews on this model and I haven't seen it in person in the East Coast or the New York area. So I figured let's give it a shot and try it out. The specs looked great, the bike looks awesome, so let's give it a shot and see what Lyric Cycles is all about. So just so you're aware, it's been about 20 to 30 degrees around my area, so I have very limited riding on the bike itself. I only have maybe like a mile or two on the bike, so this is really just going to be my first impressions on the look and feel of the bike. So just for my first impressions of the bike, this is very comparable to the Super 73 S2 model or the C3 Strom Astro Pro. It is a hard tail, but it also comes with two options of getting a single or dual battery, and I opted for the dual battery. The bike runs on a 52 volt system, and each battery is 20 amp hours, and they do run in parallel, so for the price of the bike that I paid for it on sale, it was a little over two grand, and it is running a 1000 watt motor with the 52 volt 40 amp hour battery. I'm not sure how I feel about the teal branding and accents, but overall I think the bike is very stylish and aesthetically pleasing, and the build quality seems pretty durable. If you look close at the bike, I thought that the Eclipse was going to be a totally black bike, but it has a green tint to it, which I think is pretty cool. So the last standout feature that I want to highlight is it does have a Gates belt drive, which I don't notice a difference yet, so I'll probably need more riding time on the bike to give you better insight. So I'll throw up the full specs of the bike directly from the website and put it on the screen so you could take a look at your leisure. If you're enjoying the video so far, I would really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. But once it reaches 20 miles per hour, it cuts out the throttle.
but it is very torquey to get there on throttle alone. All right, so to get into settings, let's take this off. Double tap the M. We're gonna go to advanced. The code is one nine one nine change the speed limit and max it out I think the highest is 24.5 and that's unlimited let's try it out all right now we got it un unlocked let's see a quick top speed before we head back home because it's cold and it's way too cold all right here we go Seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Looks like it's capping at 32. Pretty torquey front end. Thank you guys for checking out the video. I will definitely be doing more riding on this bike once it gets a little bit warmer, but right now it is just way too cold. But thank you for stopping by, and I will catch you on the next ride. All right, guys, ride on. Thank you.